10 games into the season and things are going really, really well, which has me more than a little concerned if I'm going to be 100% honest with you. Um, my coaching grade is still an A+. I just signed a new contract. The team is in the upper half of the table. And frankly, if the season ended today, we'd be in the playoffs, which is very, very cool on one hand, but on the other hand, is frightening as hell. Today, though, we're playing two really good teams. We'll see where we are at the end of the day, and we'll go from there. My name's FM Jellico, and it's time to get real. And uh, as you can see, this is where we stand at the moment. Fifth place on 19 points. Six wins, one draw, three losses. And frankly, one of those losses we got completely and totally FM'd on. You will see that in a minute. Our 17 goals scored are ninth highest in the league. Our 12 goals allowed are sixth best. Oh, we're first in yellow cards. Go us! And we have one red card. Because Mianic got... Yeah, Mianic got double yellowed in a game. You'll see that here. Javi Pato leads with six goals. Alvaro Sands, a 7.31 rating. Clemente, Hiardi, and Karamoko, each with two assists. Rebulier, of course, the best pass completion rating. Clemente, two players in the match awards. His defense has been absolutely fabulous. Mianic got the one red card. Sands, Clemente, and Abu Bakar, Karamoko, each have four yellow cards. So, you know, fun times. Fun, fun times. Schedule-wise. Well... It's been it's been really good to be honest with you. After we beat Ponfer Ponferradina, we were away at Real Sociedad B, and we beat them two 0 thanks to goals by Rochi and Ruiz. We were then away at Mallorca, and this was the game. Um, yeah, this was the game we got FM down. They scored in the ninetieth minute. I was happy with the draw, and then for for some stupid reason, one of my defenders came off his guy, and they got the uh, they got the winner. It was. An absolute kick in the guts. Uh, we got a revenge away at Elche. We beat them 3-1 thanks to goals by Ruiz, Poirot, and Musa Banda. And then against Alaves, we absolutely thrashed them 4-2. Sagato goal, Ruiz, Caramoco goal, and Puerto goal. And then against UD Las Palmas, they thrashed us 3-1. This wasn't really much of a game. Um, let me get to the match stats here real quick. They had 16 shots, 8 on target. We had 14 and 9. We had the possession advantage. We just cannot do anything with it. Their defense was a heck of a lot better than ours. We're running the same problem we've always run into, except this time they played a little bit higher up the field. They were playing a 4 4 1 1 that just gave my guys fits. We were able to get the ball out on the flanks and play off the flanks and cross it in and, and, and have a little bit of success there, but not a whole heck of a lot. And I think. Um, the 3-1 game against LJ, that was the game where Miata got sent off on the double yellow in the 20th minute, and we scored all three of our goals after that. They got a penalty, penalty kick in the 79th minute to break up a clean sheet. That was annoying as heck. Today, though, we're playing Real Madrid Castilla, who are probably a rival. I mean, they could be a rival. We don't have any rivals. Let me uh, go to that here real quick. If you go down here and then you go to rivalries, we don't have any. None for the Derbies, no fierce rivals, no other rivals. So, you know what? We'll work on that. So we're playing Real Madrid Castilla, uh, Castilla and CD Lugo today. Uh, Real Madrid Castilla is currently. You know what? Let's just go to the big league table. Oh, they fell all the way down to 18th. They've been a. They've, they've won one of their last five. Wow, they've gone one, two, and two since then. And they're playing CD Lugo, who are actually on a decent run. They're coming off a losing streak. They're, they've won their last two games. So it's going to be a tough uh, a couple. A couple of tough games for us. So I'm going to uh, check my best 11, set the reserves, and we're going to come back with our match against Real Madrid Castilla in just a bit. And this is the team we are playing today. We are away at Real Madrid. We are playing our 4-2-4, of course. Rebulia and goal. Barrera, Clemente, Obeso, and Robles as the defensive back four. Mianic and Rochi as the midfielders. Yardi and Caramoco as the attacking midfielders. Pato and Ruiz up top as the strikers. Good job. Oh, they've got a guy from Iceland, is there? He's got five goals in the under-21s. Okay. What about this guy here? If I didn't know any better, I'd say we were getting the B squad of the Real Madrid Castilla team. Of 
Corner kick in very early. Yardi runs it down, runs into the ref. He sends it over to Rochi, all alone on the right. Crosses it in, knocked away. Algara sends it out. Good Johnson's there. He loses it. Obeso's going to run it down. Hopefully, he's going to run it down. All the way back to Rubouillet, who holds it up to Obeso. Sends it to Mionic. Nice first touch. He drives forward. To Yardi, on the left, in the box. Dispossessed. Crosses in. Ruiz is there, and he scores. I don't think football manager is a young person's game, but I see players do stuff like that. Frankly, it gives me a little pain in my chest. It was a nice tackle attempt. You already did really good to recover it, but man. Corner kick in. Knocked away. Roshi's going to run that down. Back to Barrera. All the way back to Rebouille. He's going to hold it up. Wait for the guys to get set. Clemente. To Barrera. Mionic. Up to Poato. Back to Rochi. All the way out to Yardi on the left. Almost loses the ball. Does lose the ball. He's dispossessed by De La Vavora. Bassi to Alonso. Up to Gelbert. Passes up in the space. De La Vavora is there. It's one on four. <sighs> My number 15 tried uh, slide tackling him and completely whiffed. I'm going to tell the guys to concentrate. We're going to see what happens. Obeso. Up to Ruiz. Nice first touch. Up to Poato. Got behind his defender and totally rounds the keeper and scores. That was well done. God, they're such a good combination. Although we keep performing as well as we do, keeping one or both of them is going to be really, really hard. It's a nice pass into space by Ruiz. And I don't have pass into space on. I generally don't play with that. Corner kick in for Castilla. Or Real I'm just going to call him Real Madrid. And they score off the corner. Of course they score off the corner. Sergio Arribas, his third goal of the season. Well, I guess we can take a little bit of consolation on the fact it wasn't his first goal of the season. No, Rubulli had a, had an opportunity to stop that. But Melt header was just a bit too high. Throwing Clemente to Rochi. Taps it back to Robles. Back to Rochi. Back to Robles. Long pass into the box. Knocked away by Roman. Gelbert sends it up into space. Obeso's going to run that down, I hope. Centers it to Clemente. Sends it over to Barrera. He's got help, but he's going to send it back to Clemente. To Barrera. To Mionic. Taps it up to Yardi. Nice one twos there. Yardi to Mionic. Back to Barrera. All alone on the left. Got behind the defender. Crosses into the box. Knocked away. Alonso has it for Real Madrid. He lumps it forward, goes right to Obeso, who sends it up to Karamoko, got between the defenders, holds it up, loses, crosses it in, rather. Ruiz, off the post. Poi, Poato hits it, and it bounces off a of Bellman? Or are they calling out a Poato goal? They're calling out a Poato goal. Okay, let's see what happens here in the 3D. Karamoko gets it. The number 17 player, Ojova, runs the ball. Ruiz heads it, bounces off the post. Poato gets it. And then whoever this guy is, Ramon tries clearing it, and it bounces off Poato and goes into the goal. And they're counting it as a Poato goal. Okay. With the Ramon assist, I guess. Ramon bounces his attempt off, but he is there. Oh, knocked away. Bounces back and forth. Big crowd in front of the goal. Knocked away again. Bessie has it. De La Vibora. Laser of a shot. Wide, wide left. It's not even halftime. Good grief. A lot of highlights this first half so far, and that has led to a 3-1 lead for us. Javier Poirot breaks the goals. Ruiz a goal in the second minute. Eight shots, six on target for us. Huge possession advantage. We are going to tell the guys, I'm very pleased. Keep it going. No yellow cards so far. That'll change. That'll definitely change. Bellman to Ramon to Gelbert to Rebus. Up in space. Good Johnson's there. Gets round one. Can't get by Rebouillet, though. Barrera. And we're going to pause this here real quick. Okay, picking this back up again. George wanted outside. Bellman lumps it forward. Good Johnson's there. Nice first touch from the Icelander. Takes a shot, but Rebouillet, no problem stopping that. He holds it up. Rolls it out to Obeso. Rochi centers it to Mionic. 
Back to Rochi. Oh, he tries passing it up. The Castilla player misplayed it. Poato is there. But wow. They got just enough on it to force it wide. Robles sends it in. Knocked away. Poato's going to run that down. Back to Robles. And he cannot get there. Bellman with a goal kick. Towards Vassi. Oh, Barrera's there. Heads it to Yardi. Oh, De La, De La Vibor just possesses him. Ramon to Alonso. Rivas up to Gelbert. Back to Alonso. Out to Vassi alone on the right. He cuts inside, crosses it in, knocked away. Karamoko has it, loses it. Rivas gets it for Real Madrid Castilla. He sends it out to Gila. Karamoko challenges. And Rivas has two players on him. Oh, Mianic gets, gets in front of that. Passes it up. Poato has it now. He takes a long shot, but goes right at Bellman. He should have held it up and waited for some, waited for some help. We have got them thoroughly frustrated. After the throw in here, we're going to make a couple of changes. Ruiz. Back to Robles. Centers it to Mionic. To Rochi. To Ruiz. To Karamoko. Back out to Robles. Centers it in. Nope. Knocked away. Alberto can't hold it. Barrera can't get there. Oh. That was some sort of magic and weirdness going on there. Ramon. Gelbert. To Vassi. Back to Arribas. To Alonso. Crosses in and Vassi's there. Oh, and the guy's got back in enough time to block it. It is knocked away. We are going to make a couple of stops. The defense has been really, really good the past few games, including the games where we got blown out, including the games we lost. The defense has been really, really good. Barrera's not having the best game. We're going to get Banda on. I think that's going to be the only change we make for right now. All of my three forward players are... Well, they were 8+. plus. Something happened. Yardy went down to a 7-2. De La Vibora, corner kick in. And I have no idea what the heck just happened, but Algara got the goal. Look at my two guys right here. Oh, he went for the header. Totally misplayed that. And of course, that's his first goal. Of course, that's his first goal of the season. About 80 minutes in, we're going to make our last sub. Robles is a little knackered. We're going to bring Ruben Garcia on. Can we hold out for the victory? Four minutes of extra time. And we can. A good 3-2 win over a pretty good Real Madrid Castilla team. Ruiz a goal. Plato a brace of goals. 19 shots. 13 on target. Holy cow. We were very, very good stats-wise. Going to congratulate the boys. Say, I don't know what happened in the second half. Rebouille is demotivated. Karamoko is demotivated. I'm not going to even try and fix that. We're going to go back to here. Ruiz did drive us forward. We are going to praise him. He started out slow, but he has definitely come on. Uh, if we go to me... This is my new contract, 3,900 euros a week. If we avoid relegation, I get 13,000 euros. A uh, decent salary promotion raise, as a salary raise when we get promoted. A uh, decent, you know, the, the regular, the, I don't want to call it the regular drop in terms of 35%. But yeah, if we get, if we get demoted, it goes down, which is fine. Um, 73,000 euro payroll and the transfer budget got kicked. It's 275, I want to say. Or 267. Yeah, give or take. So, I signed it. I don't know if it's gone through yet. Do the press conference here, and I will be back in just a bit. So, we got uh, CD Lugo, Club Deportivo Lugo coming up. They're currently in eighth place. We will get to that game, and we will be back with that in just a bit. Well, we're breaking out something a little bit different today. It is our 4-3-1-2. Rebulli in goal, Barrera, Clemente, Obeso, and Garcia as the defensive back four. Sands, Mianic, and Rochi as the midfielders. Powell is the advanced midfielder with Ruiz and Poirot up top as the strikers. And I did not realize they were playing a 4-3-3. Salif Sane. I'm sorry, you see names that you recognize from like first division teams and stuff like that sometimes. You, you kind of pause and go, that can't be the same guy. And it's obviously not. Then you run into guys like Alex Centellis, who 
you know, in two or three years, we'll probably be playing for Bayern, one of those teams like that. He's down in the Sagoon to be. Lugo is a team we bought Karamoko from, and the press was hyping it up that, uh, yeah, you know, he's it's a homecoming. Is he going to get the play? And then I looked at who I had available and things like that. I was like, you know what? We're going to give this formation a try. Papuato. Barrera, top of the box, takes a shot. Wow, that was nice. His first goal of the season. The keeper got pulled off because of where Poato was. Garcia throws it in. Mionic lost it to Poato. Nice first touch. Barrera just one taps it. The Lugo keeper was a bit late on that one. God, we're up in second. We're up in second place. Sands. All the way out to Barrera. Back to Sands. To Mionic. Oh, gives it away. No, he doesn't. Barrera's going to stop it. And he bounces back and forth. Now he's just possessed by Gamez. Buyo can't get it, but goes right to Santa Maria. He taps up in the space to Buyo. Holds it up right at, uh, right at Rabouye. I don't want to get promoted. I, I, okay, getting promoted and then coming right back down, I don't think would be a very bad thing. Because it wouldn't be the dogfight it was if we got demoted, relegated from this, you know, back down to that whole playoffs thing. Candlest bangs it off the crossbar. But I think we're playing above our level at the moment. And I say that as they score. I Mingueza mean, goal off the set piece. Beso tries heading it away, but it goes right back to Candelas, and he sends it in. Minguez is right there with the header. Although Rabouye made a nice effort, made a nice attempt. Halftime, 11 shots, 5 on target for Lugo, and they have the possession advantage. We've got 6 and 4. Goals are equal, thanks to the very nice Minguez header that they had. Gamet's on the throwing, gets it back. In the corner. Sends it in. Buyo's there. Sends it to Santa Maria and he puts it far post. That was nice. Yeah, Buyo was just sitting there between the defenders and then he got the ball and Santa Maria was right there too. Barrera on the throne to Sands. Back to Barrera. Up into space. Ruiz is there in the box. Holds it up to Sands. Back to Barrera. Oh, back to Ruiz. Varo with a very nice block. We're going to pause here and make a couple of changes, hopefully before the corner kick goes off. I am completely playing these two out of position, and I did not realize that. That is completely on me, you numpty. We're going to get Garcia off, bring on Robles. No, we're going to go back to our 4 2 4. We're going to get Sands off, bring on Karamoko. We're going to get Powell off and bring on Yardi. Karamoko driving forward. He's got help, drops it off to Robles. He uh, tries crossing in, bounces off a Lugo player, goes right to San Maria, up to Blanco, one on one. Oh, Rubuya, a very nice save. Robles has it, just bangs it out of bounds. I don't know that we're going to get it. Demanded more. The guys are focused. I do not see it happening. And it does not. Well, thanks to the Gorga Santa Maria goal in the 46 minute, Lugo beats us 2 1. 17 shots, 10 on target. Decent possession advantage. We had nine and six. Okay, maybe playing the four three one two the first half of the game was a mistake. I, I fully admit that. Looks like we accepted a friendly proposal from Malaga. I don't remember them making that, but could be me. So who are we going to play next? Coming up on the first of November. You know what? We are going to come back for Barcelona B and Raya Vallecano. 
Barcelona B and Real Vallecano are both top table teams. Currently at the moment, we are too, but I don't expect that to last. And, you know, it's like I was saying in game, if it does last, I'm not too upset by it. Because if we do, for whatever reason, manage to get promoted and go up to La Liga, coming right back down right away isn't to me a huge deal because the, you're not dealing with the promotion playoffs that you had going from the Segunda B to La Liga 2. So we, uh, we're we doing well. We're doing good. Um, we're definitely playing well above our level. And come the January transfer window, I was going to have um, the schedule done for the spreadsheet for this particular episode. However, things happened. So at the moment, for me right now, personally, it's more important to get these games out of the way. Uh, what with everything going on, um, my company's still at work. I have a really nice office environment. But the fact of the matter is, should they shut it down and we have to work from home, my job gets that much harder because working from home is kind of a pain when you consider all the technical hoops I have to jump through just to get my job done in terms of connecting to servers and stuff like that. It's doable. It's just my productivity goes down. So I'm trying to get as many games recorded as I can so that way I can edit during the week and get them up. And, uh, you know, I'm, I'm back on my five days a week uh, uploading, and I want to keep that going. Uh, so far, so good. So, that said, okay, maybe playing the 4 3 one, 2 was a mistake. Yes, it's a, it's a formation we have trained. I've had it in the back pocket for a while, but uh, maybe that wasn't the game to play it. And definitely Barcelona B or Viacano was, wasn't the game to pull that out either. So, we... Uh, I shot myself in the foot of that one. I got no one, no one but myself to blame for that. But if you did like what you've seen and heard, please leave a like. Subscribe to the channel for more content, questions, criticisms, comments, leave those down below. I will answer those as fast as I can. My name's FM Jellico. And as soon as I take a breath, jeez, I thank you for watching.